Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's the weekend show, so we all know where that goes, it's the pre-order show. So I'm going to grab my cup of tea and have a quick swig. And we're going to go over quickly what's been released this week. Not a lot on the AOS front, I'm only going to mention... Uh, what I'm going to mention by you now, because they can be slipped into armies, so that's going to be interesting. But also, I've got to mention that there's a head upgrade being released through Forge World, and I'm really sorry, guys. It's going to be probably controversial, but. I really don't like the head upgrades. So, and I think head upgrades like are, are like a quick money grab. Like, if any of you are interested, there's two headsets being released, and they're for Stormcast Eternals. From what I can see, there's one set that's going to be men's head, one set that's going to be women's head. Both going to be at the twelve pound mark. I've not got the pictures by you because, like I said, I think they're a cash grab. I really don't like paying out for sets like that because I think it's a waste. So, perhaps I'm wrong. Uh, perhaps I'm looking at it at a completely different angle to everyone else. But please let me know down below. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if you agree. Tell me if you're not bothered. It's... Like I said, it's a community show for the community, done by the community. So, before we start off the rest of the show, uh, comment, like, subscribe. If you are enjoying it, if you're not enjoying it, give it a thumbs down. I won't be hurt much. But it's your feedback that I'm after. So, please just let me know. And if you subscribe, thank you very much. If you return as subscribers, thank you again. Um, and just pass this uh, channel around to your mates. With all that said and done, let's get on with the show. Right, first up, we've got a swig of tea. It's because I'm British, that's why I love my tea. Not because I want to be sponsored by uh, Welsh Brew. But if you know anybody, just put it out there to them. Right. This week is very light on content for AOS, so I'm just going to give you a brief update on two war bands that were released. It's for the Night Haunt game. Never played it myself, because I think it's, a, to me, my, it seems like there's a lot going on, because you're playing a card game and you're playing a tabletop game. So, not my cup of tea. If I'm either doing one of the other, I either want to play a card game, I either want to play a tabletop game, or I just want to sit down and I want to do D and D. Dwarf by Barbarians for the win. But anyway, up on the screen in front of you, we've got the Godsworn Hunt Collection. I'm not going to break it down into like little bitty pictures. I'm just going to leave this big picture up so you can see everything that's been released from. The full set is £28.50, so it's under £30 you get everything. So that's dice, sleeves, cards, models. So let's break it down. Dice, a £6. They're nice looking dice. And they probably roll weighted more towards 2 to 3 because GW dice like to go quite low. My dice like tend to like rolling ones above average rolling ones. But hey oh, I'm not bitter. The sleeves for your cards are five pound, and the war band itself seventeen pound fifty. And in that war band, 
you get six models and you can see some of them are like warhounds some are archers some have got uh, spears but if they also it's the fighter cards so you can mark down your wounds and everything and they, also they've stated there's 60 cards in this pack 31 of them are universal cards so these can upgrade your other decks if you're not interested in just playing solely God's War. So you've got something that can bu bump every other deck as well. So that's a nice little incentive to buy it. The rest are split between objectives, upgrades, ploys and spells. So it's it's not a, it's not a just running your face smash. It's a little bit of nuance to this uh, army and good players are going to pick that up straight away but still because it's a dark oath warband if you want to run up and hit him in the face you can still hit, run up and hit him in the face nothing's stopping him so like i said i'm going to go over it again the full pack is 28 pound 50 the dice are six pound the sleeves are five pound the actual war band is seventeen pound fifty. The nice looking models, like I said, the game isn't for me. But I think if I was gonna play it, I would have gone down the uh, night hold side because they are nice looking models. But anyhow, it's not about my opinion. It's about what your opinion is. So what do you think of it, guys? Because the next one, I think, is a, I think it's a money grab myself. So let's uh, get it up on the screen. Right, use the offending target for me. And I'm really sorry if you guys are looking forward to this or if you guys like this. But I think this is a cash grab they could have done better. Or let's break it down first and then I'll ramble back on. Right, as you can see in front of you, it's the full collection again. It's called uh, Molog's Mob. So, it's the same as the Godsworn. There's going to be dice in there for £6, sleeves for £5, warband, if you can call it that, is £17.50. And the full collection is £28.50. So, it's the same stuff you get in. It's. Uh, I don't know. It's the same stuff, but it feels cheaper. So, but I think it has to do with the models. So, it's not nothing to do with what the content. It's just the models, because you're not losing anything on the uh, content. You're still getting the sixty cards. Thirty-one of them are going to be able to upgrade your universal deck, and then you've got the rest as. Uh, traps, um, ploys, objectives, upgrades, etc. It's just no spells. But what it is, it's all based around a Trogoth Molog. And like, I, from what I can understand, for it to be in the game, it's a big hard hit. Then it's going to take a few guys to do it uh, to take it out. If I've got that wrong, please tell me down below. But this war band then it consists of the Trogoth and three extra models. So you're getting a lot less in the set. And they're trying to say that you're getting better quality by saying it's like the best fighter. But I don't know. Because the three other models in there are variations of squigs. So I don't know. It's perhaps it's the fun side of the game they're trying to bring out, but yeah, like I said, it's it seems a bit, a bit of a waste because you are one good fighting unit, and then the rest of them are. I don't know. It feels like a bit of a joke, joke deck. But I don't know. I could be wrong. It's like I said. You tell me. What do you guys think? Because. I don't know, it, this is why I say it's a cash grab, because it feels cheap by doing what they've done. And they 
even though you're getting less in the, in the set, they're expecting you to pay the same. And I don't think it's very good value. But who knows? I'm probably wrong as usual, and you guys will tell me. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, lovely tea. Right. As you can tell, guys, that's the end of the video. Like I said, a very light age of Sigma stuff. Thought I'd just uh, let you guys know, because this will go into Gloom Spite armies and Slaves of Darkness armies. So it's a kind of Night Hall, Night Vault, um, AOS crossover. So, yay, I managed to get an extra video out. Good on me. Right, I'm sorry if it's not up to the usual standard, guys, but I wanted you guys to know, but I'm not very good with uh, the Night Vault stuff, because I've never played it. Perhaps if I played it, I'd probably show a little bit more enthusiasm rather than just saying stuff's a cash grab. The other thing to mention is the only other interesting part, well, not interesting, they've probably forgotten about it, in the Black Library section, there's the Knights of the Empire Omnibus. And I think it's about the fourth week has been in the pre-order. So I don't know whether it's been forgotten about or it was put up too early and they just don't care. Who knows? I'm not GW. Not for me to decide. But anyway, guys, if you made it this far, thank you very much. While I've got your attention, I'm going to tell you about a few things coming up. First off, it's the Channels AOS Army. I've started off with the Blades of Corn. So, so far I have built and primed uh, Karnak and 10 Bloodletters and 5 Flesh Hounds. And these are on bases. If you follow the channel on Instagram, you can see that I've made a start, and tonight, well, I say tonight, this is going up Saturday instead of Sunday, I've started painting a few models, probably by next Sunday, I will have a test model up that I'll take a few pictures of, and you guys can tell me if you think it's okay, or if you don't like the scheme and you'd rather something different for the channel, you might want to just go, no, I want the default red. But we'll see how it goes. I'm in the process of building the next 10. If you want to re remind yourself about uh, how I was going to set up the first thousand points, there's a video in uh, my back catalogue on called let's build a corn list so i'm going to see i'm going to keep it there because i believe that our wrath and rapture set is a great starting set and then to build off that the start collecting sets are fantastic so i'm going to prove a point that you can get a fun list out there i'm not saying it's going to be competitive but i'm going to have fun playing it i think so I'll keep you posted on that. Starting next Monday, I might start doing live streams while I'm doing it. So if you want to keep me company, you can. So And you can give me your feedback live. So I will keep you posted. If you guys are interested, as I've said before, we've got an Instagram channel. It's called Noob with a Brush. Please check it out. If you're a subscriber... Please pass that out to your friends. Tell them, you know, to get involved in the channel as well. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please. It, will, it means so much. And now that I've said that, it's going to be the shilling. So, I'm really sorry about this. Got to get my uh, professional voice on. Excuse me. <coughs> As you can see in front of you guys, we've got Patreon and PayPal. The links are going to be down below. If you can give, 
thank you very much. If all you can give is your time and watch the videos to get the viewing, viewing numbers up, that means so much to us as well. So thank you for that. If you could do both, that would be amazing. If you can just do one or the other, that's amazing. If you can just subscribe and tell your friends, there's a Welsh idiot that thinks he's got a good opinion. You could do that. That would be amazing as well. Because I just want to get a community going that we can like work with each other. So please, 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 please subscribe. And give me your feedback. So comment section is down below. It's there to be used, guys. Not there to be abused. So just get involved. So I think by now I should have had a catchphrase to sign off, but... I can't think of one. Probably need another cup of tea before I can think of one. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go back over what I've said. I've started the channel army. So, uh, probably a test picture will go up next Sunday. Then from the Monday or... The Friday after that, I'm going to start doing live streams as I'm hobbying. So you guys can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And you can paint along if you want. And we can have a nice chat going. Wednesdays now have become the Legends in Their Own Lunchtime section. So if you've got an idea of a HQ that you want us to cover, please let me know. Because... At the moment, I've done the Loon King, and I'm going to be doing the Infernal Enraptress. I can't get my tongue around it. Because she, well, she's an amazing looking model. I had a quick look, glance at the uh, War Scroll, and she's a tasty model. She's tasty on the battlefield as well. So, that's going to be next coming up. Weekends are still going to be the pre-order show, so... Any feedback you can give the channel as to additional content that you want, please let us know. And that's it. That's another show over. Um, and remember, sex can wait. Thin your paints. Good night, everybody.